Hello and welcome to the Game Shack. This is a new podcast which is going to be based around video games and the universe of gaming itself. Uploaded every Saturday on a weekly basis. But today is going to be the introduction of the Shackers themselves. First of all, we've got James. Hi, I'm James. Solid. Second of all, we've got Callum. Yo, I'm Callum. Last but not least, we have Wes. I'd personally like a full name, a bit, a bit, a bit more uh, gentlemanly. Exactly that. And my name <laughs> is Tristan. Usually we would have someone else called Robbie alongside us on the podcast. That is our first one. Technical difficulties with Mike's was a lot of fun. So he's not here. But uh, anyway, let's get straight into it, boys. I mean, what are we all thinking so far? So the idea of this podcast, this is the first podcast... And the whole point is that we're going to go through our childhood favorite game, something that brings back the memories, a blast from the past. Just Each one of us is going to shack it out. Everyone's going to shack it out. And um, we just got to take it in turns, talk about our favorite games. You get to know us, you get to choose your favorites, and, you know, be part of the group. Um, so I'm going to say, yeah. uh, Tristan, let's start with you. Favorite game, Blast the from the Past. The leader. All right, so we're talking Blast from the Past. Back in, what, 20 years old now? Back in 1998. I mean, one of my favourite games from back then, personally, was a game called XIII, or as some of you may know as 13. No idea if any of you guys have played this game before. Or no Ruben just... rules. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a bit of a weird one, uh, unfortunately. I mean, in the sense that it's a, it's a first-person shooter, but it's based off comic books, so based in the sense that... Uh, you love a throwing knife, it's going to come up a comic strip into their forehead. So, I mean, it's pretty interesting in that sense. A bit graphic. Back on the uh, PlayStation 2 and the Xbox, got it on the GameCube as well, which is pretty crazy. I mean, especially back in those times. I mean, love that. I mean, it released in uh, 2003, sorry. So, uh, I mean, this wasn't a game that came out exactly when I was born, but I was about five when it came out. So, I mean, it was perfect for me, especially when being introduced into that sort of world. So, I mean, that was definitely one of my favourite games and brought me straight into the FPS sort of mood. So, I mean, I don't know if you guys have seen the game before yeah, or but, played it. But the one question I've got, <laughs> when you hit somebody, does it say pow, you know? Yeah. Like, <laughs> you said, I was, I was thinking style. the exact same thing. Uh, do, do we get the old boom, the pow? It's, it's got to have the pow, man. It, it did it's exactly boom, that, man. Mate, you, you, had, you had the bam, <laughs> the booms, the wax. Oh, pals, mate, when you hit someone and that's it, it would just go whack in the top corner. Hit someone with a snipe, you just hear it, you just have pew just pop up. Like, and what are we talking about was... story wise? Tasmanian devil type of shit. Yeah, yeah. What, what's, nice. what's going on with the story? I mean, I mean, with the story, I mean, what it was is it's based as in you're stranded in this kind of well, you get out of this car, you're kind of stranded in this kind of like new island. And next thing you know, everyone's trying to kill you. You're kind of new to all this this concept of killing people and that. But obviously, as an <laughs> FPS shooter, you just get straight into it. You just lob it knives at everyone. So you don't have a choice. Really. You don't really have much of a choice. <laughs> you find a gun, you just blast it yeah, away. It exactly. sounds like a zombie invasion. Yeah. It, it, I mean, it does it, doesn't yeah. it? I mean, in terms... Just if I was spray to, the shit. If I was to link it to any other game in the sense of how it was, I would kind of bring it back to like Far Cry 2. I don't know if you guys ever played that game. But you're kind of stranded, Ooh, okay. on, but you're kind of stranded on the island. But the good thing about it was there was like loads of different like maps and levels you go through, different side of side of bosses. Mm. There was a story, the, the background story was uh, from what I remember from the top of my head, was that you were kind of fight, you were kind kind of some agent. You didn't know you were an agent, but you become an agent. You start working with another agent, and it kind of goes all tits up from there, pretty much. You just start destroying everything that you kind of come across in your path. But, uh, nice. The online like, of it, like pre just yeah. cause. <laughs> exactly that. Exactly that. In that sense, the oldie timey just causing. <laughs> and, yeah. and and the online of it, like I said, the multiplayer of it was exactly the same in the sense of like CS:GO, where you kind of like just round based, kind of run around. You can play TDM and stuff like that, or team deathmatch. But it would still say in the comic strip sort of style. So if you were to get a throwing knife kill or something like that, it would still come up as the comic strip, which was I found so that pretty boom. interesting. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So that. It was money, but was it on PlayStation then? Yeah, it was on PlayStation Two, Xbox, and it was on the GameCube as well. And Windows. oh, the GameCube. Yeah, I never played it online on PlayStation Two. I, I, I mean, what back then it was more LAN parties and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, it was, it was, it was LAN parties. Yeah, back then. yeah, there wasn't really an online. Yeah, I've only done that with Xbox. That's like that's my, that's my best one, which does lead me to mine. 
Um, a great link. My blast from the past. It's, great, it's a great link, actually. Lovely little link. There. Lovely little link. link. So we have we have the event of place, we have the Xbox, <laughs> and we also have the PC as well. So the blast from the past. This is why I had a long long think about this, right? Because there are so many games that we've played that I've been too young to remember. Yeah. And there's games I completed when I was younger, like like Hit and Run, for example. Yeah, or of course. Spyro. Lovely. Games I I love, but like. I don't remember too well. And the one game that's kind of stuck me to gaming um, was Halo. Uh, an online know. multi-person shooter, man. Whew, yeah, this is where the multiplayer came from, right? Because before it was kind of story games you're playing by yourself, but this was the first time I, I got into a party with my friends and we're... It's we're the original FPS. Games is, yeah. together, and custom games going through the campaign from start to finish. Those who don't know Halo, if you're under a rock, if you're watching a gaming <laughs> podcast, how do you not know? But anyways, Halo is basically, you're, 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 a, you're a chief and you, you just kick an ass, man. You, you fucking go to aliens. Uh, you just, you're just popping people just left, right, center. Um, oh man, yeah, Halo. Um, going for the campaign with friends, beating a legendary mode, the amount of achievements you got to get. Oh, legendary. And it was like, it was the whole point. It was just kind of just like going with your friends and kind of pushing things to the next limit and like trying to like make custom maps by like plugging your computer in and like modding the fuck out of it until you can do something really badass and impress your friends. And it was just at least four summers worth of me, of my, of my childhood on the 360 was just spent with this, this one blessed game. But yeah, that's mine. Halo. I mean, it, it, uh, me asking you the question this time, I mean, in the sense of you liking the multiplayer of Halo, in terms of yeah. that, what made you prefer Halo over the Call of Duty style of things? Well, there's a, I, I play Call of Duty, right? And yeah. all my friends played Call of Duty, but we didn't play each other. Yeah. This was the yeah. time when, because when, Halo is like a, a communal experience. Yeah. You can play Team Deathmatch on Call of Duty for like, 10 hours you wouldn't doesn't bother you yeah yeah of course as soon as you go into like with your with your friends i don't want to fucking play team deathmatch with my friends because the only thing you say when you're playing team deathmatch in call of duty oh fuck oh fuck i'm dead oh, yeah, oh, I never put it in the edge. unless you hit like an epic quick scope or something like, that's like not more <laughs> yeah. than two times but, like, call the banter time. levels are not that high when it yeah. comes to call of duty yeah, online. No, i agree and i would have to stemming on from what james is saying about the whole halo call of duty thing one thing i will say was halo was a lot more action-packed dude like yeah so a lot yeah. more action-packed compared to call of duty even the first mission i remember in halo 1 first mission when you're stuck on that ship it's just been blown up sort of thing and you're getting through it after you've done a tutorial bit i thought that was one of the best bits about it iconic yeah Oh, it's just good. It's just good. I mean, like the Halo. I mean, out of all the Halo friends, and that's kind of like this is where I'm stemming off from. Like, I only play with friends. I don't care for story mode, which I'm sorry for a lot of people. Yeah, uh, yeah. That might, that we're might, we're that gonna might clash. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're gonna hate each other soon. It's, it's <laughs> your one. It's your one based on a story game. Was? Yeah, yeah, my my pretty much all of my story games. When Where's the only always... play story games? When deciding this, I always thought, what, what's my gaming world? My gaming world is sort of JRPGs, story-based games. I'm not really the sole... I, I played like Tier 2 Overwatch. They're the only multiplayer games I've really ever played. But I've never really been a Black Ops, Call of Duty sort of kid. Yeah, no, of so course. I, I, when this You're question pops up... Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I've got my Mario hat, my little Pikachu teddy. Oh, yeah. I'm getting started. <laughs> But um, I just thought, what what games inspired me to get into this genre? And the first game I thought was Phoenix and Wright Ace Attorney Trials and Tribulation. You see, the third in the series of Phoenix Wright games. You're going to have to do a lot of explanation on this. Especially yeah. yeah. Me I won't this lie. Is, this is a new Never heard of it. Never well, heard of it. Phoenix Wright, it's sort of, uh, it's hard to say a backwater game, but in Japan it's really popular. It's currently on the, it's currently an anime. It replaced um, My Hero Academia. And when you think that's one of the big, big animes currently right now running, you've yeah. got to think it's got some sort of stand. I'll in. take your word for it, my friend. <laughs> yes, you will, good sir. <laughs> <laughs> but Phoenix Wright Trial Tribulation, the whole, it's the third game in the series of the Phoenix Wright one, and originally by Capcom, it was planned to be the last. Mm. Yeah. So you sort of, with the first two games you've grown up with Phoenix, you faced your boyhood friend, now turned prosecutor, and you faced his sort of stepsister. Yeah, but this yeah. time you're chucked into a completely different one with Phoenix, right? You're now facing this mysterious prosecutor, 
who you right. don't know the name of. This is his first prosecution ever. And you're the sort of legendary defense attorney who say famous celebrities, fam- no, the average Joe. And was this 2D or 3D? Um, it was 2D back then. It was released in 2004. So was it like an RPG sort of thing then? No, well, yeah, a bit of RPG. Was it, was it, was was it more, like... more adventure, more yeah. adventure visual novel. Thing. Was it like 2D as in 2D bird's eye view like Pokemon was? Or was it 2D in, in as a way, in it, was, it wasn't um, it was more it wasn't vertical, it was the other horizontal. It was, it was horizontal, so it, as if you were kind of let's think about it, as if, as if you were playing say the original Mario Mario yeah. on Game Boy, as if it's like that. Yeah. Ah, nice. But of course your defence turning out against prosecution, so if you've well, let's hope you've never been in a That's a cool room. indie old school one. I, I, yeah, I let's, wish I could say that. I'm, uh, Halo. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're going back but to like, I, classic gaming, dude. I like that. Let's carry on. But these, but these sort of games, this sort of game, like when I was a kid, I was always into maths. I know it's proper boring. But <coughs> <I've>, Nerd. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, I never liked the reading part. The reading part was always boring. But then you start playing these sort of games like reading's fun. I'm being involved in this reading because I'm suddenly presenting evidence. Yeah, mm. I'm suddenly learning our mysteries. Like, for example, the first case, which they usually this what this game they didn't. They usually spoil the kid. Oh, just a sort of this is a oh, tutorial. Have fun. Yeah, you play as Phoenix Wright's mentor, Mia Fey. Yeah, and what your role is to defend Phoenix Wright. So you know mentally he's innocent because you play him in the future. So you okay. can't be guilty. So you know your client's innocent. But in other cases, for example, in um, actually no, spoilers. I'm not going to say that. Uh, <laughs> but you know he's innocent. So you know somebody who you speak to is guilty. They're a killer. They've killed a man. So it's that nice, nice sort of feeling of okay. I know he's, I know he's innocent. I've played the other two. I've played him. He's, he's literally me in this circumstance. <laughs> yeah. So I know he's innocent. So this person I'm speaking to. Yeah, you this person I speak to, I've got to prove that they're guilty. Do I know they're a murderer. I don't know how. Listen well. <laughs> yeah, that actually sounds quite interesting. Jeez, and it's... that sounds that sounds that sounds so interesting for a game of two thousand. Oh, <laughs> it zero. is it is very sort of um, Japanese, like most yeah. most of my games. It's um the host. It's la- played in a land called uh, Japanifornia, which I can guess. <laughs> guess what? That's, that's a mixture of very American, <laughs> <laughs> and they're all capitalists. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds interesting but it's, but it's one how, how do you make an exciting game based on a lawyer how do you present that forward there's just so many things in my mind that are floating around just going I love the idea I love the idea of somebody standing there in, a, in their proper suit just going okay guys I've got an idea for a game there no, no, so, so, defense uh, attorney yeah, yeah but this is so weird because like, on Netflix right now there's so many regarding yeah. lawyers there's better cool soul there's um, uh, devil, not devil, uh, daredevil, right? Yeah, devil, yeah. I was just thinking. Everyone's a lawyer. <laughs> lawyers are taking dead. over the world. I thought like law school was just like books upon books, but clearly not. No, no, you <laughs> well, some of the greatest people on earth are lawyers. Of yeah. course, like I said it's still going strong things, right? Uh, recently, Spirit of Justice last year. Yeah. Well, he's now got his two assistants, but I said it's an anime. It's one of the most popular animes or not in the world, but. It's really popular in Japan. They love it. Nice. Yeah. Damn. I mean, there's... Yeah, it's currently, it's currently on 45th episode, so... Oh, Jesus. There's a... Wow, there's a lot to it, then. And that's Jesus. It. And, it's, and it's currently running. I'm currently To me, it sounds it. like there's a lot of reading. <laughs> yeah, there, there's a lot yeah, of reading. It's a lot of, it's a lot of fun. What's your game, Cal? FIFA? <laughs> FIFA. To be fair, my game is, is, is made by EA, so... Uh, you okay. may think it's a sports game, but nah. My, my game, I don't know if you guys have heard of it, but it's called Time Splitters. Uh, it was a game that was released in 2002. And uh, any, any of you guys played like the 007 games, like GoldenEye yeah. and things like that? Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, thank, thank you for that. Um, <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, Time Splitters is basically like you have a, a lawyer, actually. Just linking back to your last point. Oh, what is this? Lawyers are the gods of gaming. We, oh, it actually is. That. It actually is. So you pl- you play as a lawyer, and then you play as like some Indiana Jones wannabe guy. And uh, the game's basically it's set between 1935 and 2035, 
And basically, it's just like a, a special agent spy game set between that period, hundred year period. You travel a few time, uh, through time, you kill a load of people, you solve mysteries, you, you solve do quests, and yeah, it's basically just a brilliant game for an FPS. And I spent a lot of time playing it back then, a lot of time. It's based on a comic book, and uh, yeah, comic, you, books. You, you, comic books and lawyers. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know, I know, it's crazy. I mean, uh-huh. James, we you leave yours as Master Chief for comic book made for these young days. <laughs> I'm, I'm just trying to think. Like, I, I, like politics has gone out the window at that point. <laughs> the lawyers are taking over, but no, it's good because you, you battle you battle aliens, but you also battle humans. Like for me, my favorite mission was it's the second mission you play, and you literally spawn in like Egypt for, from about 1940, and you're literally just walking through a pyramid with your. Uh, lawyer friend and then you just have all these mummies come off yes. and oh my god it's a, a, such a good mission yeah. literally you've got you got to fight all these mummies that are just popping up at you and then you, you're basically trying to find this girl who's somehow missing in in the pyramid i don't know how she got there she's in the middle of nowhere i don't know how she got there but you just got to try and find her and when you find her you move on to the next level but the story progresses every, every time you uh get through a level and uh yeah so the enemies get harder and harder Hell yeah, yeah, <laughs> literally. That is probably the best. Find the... Her. With a lawyer in Indiana <laughs> Jones. <laughs> I mean, com- coming off the the, t- the time split thing, if you were to relate that to any game, what would you put that as? I mean, cause it was quite a distinctive game time split, wasn't it? In the sense that, I mean, like, yeah. the way you would walk around and shoot, obviously, I, I, from what I remember at the top of my head, was when you were aiming your gun, looking left and right, you'd see your gun kind of swerve a lot. Like, it would go, oh, gorgeous. Sort of, like, if you were to look left, your gun would suddenly go inside your body, sort of thing, as if, like, it was. Oh, gorgeous. Yeah. It, it was basically it was, like yeah. a half life game. It, but, uh, yeah, no, it was I, brilliant. I mean, <laughs> if I was to say anything about time splitters to the day and age we're in now, I mean, what game would I relate that to? I mean, Oh, see, I don't know. I, I think Time Splitters is unique. It I don't was, think they've made was, a similar yeah. one like that. It's unique in itself. But if you had to link it to a game now, you probably would say something like... Time Splitters 2. <laughs> yeah, Time Splitters <laughs> 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 To be fair, though, they have, they have made a few Time Splitters. There's Time Splitters 1, Time Splitters 2, Time Splitters Future Perfect, Time Splitters 4, and guess what? There isn't a Time Splitters 5. You know, I know you're expecting oh, that, but there isn't. Let's there isn't. go on, we're done then. <laughs> we won. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. What, what's um, what's the fourth one on? What release on? Do you know? Uh, so it was a, a it was originally a PS2 and a GameCube game, oh. and then uh, yeah, was, and then was it, a, it, it progressed a... up to an Xbox. Oh, Xbox yeah, managed to get it from Time Splitters to Xbox. Xbox managed to get it, and then yeah, it can't it kind of died after the PS3 come out, and then yeah, they've not really done anything. So EA. I suggest you get off your backside, stop focusing on FIFA and taking money off people, and uh, yeah, go sort out time splitters. You want to see the Battle Royale game? It's a good business strategy. <laughs> There's a lot of things that you need to release. Number one, <laughs> Skate Four. Uh, Skate I love Skate. Yeah. Look, Skate. If, if we start working on things EA need to do, we'll be here for the rest. Oh of my the god, that, that's a whole other podcast no, in is, itself, uh, Wesley. A whole other one. I mean, all right, then, boys. If we're talking Make about EA great again. <laughs> <laughs> if we're talking about childhood like games and stuff in. Uh, what console did you mainly play or use when PS2. you were PS2. I was a PS2 gamer. And then before that, I was actually uh, a Mega Drive. Mega Drive Mega kind Drive. of guy. Yeah. That was me. That was me. Yeah, I think I used to have the Sega. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the uh, Nintendo 64. I used to think... that. I yeah, I'm just, I mean... I'm just... I'm a Nintendo boy. Yeah, you've Nintendo always boy. been a Nintendo boy. Game, Bo- Game Boy DS Wii. Oh, oh, Game Boy, yeah, oh, I love yeah. the good, I love the good Game Boy. Talking Game Boy, then, Wes, what game did you mainly play on there? Was it Mario sort of jobby, or it was it was Pokemon, it was Pokemon, Pokemon, it, of it course. Was Pokemon. It was, with my favorite Pokemon of all time, Trico. Yeah, my three games on uh, the uh, the Game Boy originally was what would it be Mario, then Pokemon, and then it would be a game called Earthworm Jim. Earthworm, Earthworm Jim. Jim. Earthworm Jesus. Jim. Not a lot of people actually know that game, but what a oh, game! Oh, I know what Earthworm Jim. I'm trying to think about what it, what it Didn't is. Didn't they make a TV show on it as well? No, no, no. I, I, I swear I, they I did. I think they were, were looking at it, but I'm not too sure whether they actually went through with it. I mean, it was a pretty weird game. It was probably one of the hardest DS or Game Boy games I've ever played in my life. Like I couldn't complete it at all. No, it was very tough. Like if I was, I remember like half the games I played as kids and I played as a kid, I couldn't complete. Whereas if I play them now, I could probably complete it in about forty-five minutes. 
It's made yeah, in 1994. That's, that's crazy. crazy. Yeah. Sorry, say that again, James. That's the case in most games as a kid. Not even that, like, like because on all these old consoles, if you didn't have a memory card, you've got to keep playing that first mission over and over again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But eventually, you'll get past that first mission because you have to keep, just keep on doing it. <laughs> well, the I only way like... you can complete games is by doing zero deaths. It's the only way you can complete games by then. Mm, yeah. I, was say, I, don't, I don't want to be the old man of the century. But you God, will the, anyway. The, youngster, the youngsters listening to this will be confused. Oh, right? oh yeah. I mean, oh, well, they got, yeah. with the memory Wait, sticks. Wait, you don't automatically save? Yeah, isn't it? Exactly that. Well, the memory sticks was like 16 meg. Like... Yeah. <laughs> and you would protect that with your life. Uh, oh, exactly. Yeah. That held your life in that in that one memory di- disc. It was like everything that you've ever achieved is on it. It was like 12 megabytes. Yeah, like you, your max you can get, I think, megabytes. which I saw and was 32. And it cost more than the number. It was like 20 pounds. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I used I used to think you got them free with PS2 games. You know when you'd open a PS2 case, yeah, they'd have that little slot. Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I I used to think with every PS2 game, you they were supposed to give me a uh, memory card because I'm like it's, it's empty, it's empty. Because why would they pull it in there? Like, why <laughs> would they pull it in there? <laughs> <laughs> but, but that's it. Just like game it. Just if, nowadays, if you get like a console game, you just you don't even get a packaging really. You just get a piece of paper with like controls on it. Yeah, basically. I mean, well, I mean, I, I, it's like unless you get like a, a limited edition or a um, premium one. Hmm. But they weren't really as round as much as they are now, were oh, they? Yeah, I mean, I mean they're not. They weren't then, were they? But nowadays, they're... I mean, yeah. I mean, back then, I used to live for the days of going to ASDA or to like Woolworths or something. Back in those times, oh, yeah. oh. blockbusters. Oh yeah, <laughs> and just grabbing myself the oh, PS2. Renting the game. Yeah. Night. <laughs> Renting the game. <laughs> I used to either rent what? them or I'd get one of those magazines that came with the demo discs and the demo yeah. discs. Oh, 300 games God. plus. Yeah. Fucking, yeah. All right, yeah. Get Five pounds for get... magazine, 300 games. Yes. Get, like, get like a CD out of a Coco Pops or something. Oh, yeah. my God. Some of those games would be great. It's get like demos Frosty's in your... oh, BMXing or something. <laughs> <laughs> it was brilliant. It was great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I used to have something on my laptop that used to be like SNES games. I don't know if any of you heard like SNES. But it yeah, used to come yeah, with yeah. like a oh, thousand right. Stez games just for free, oh, just completely like playing. But every single one of them was a two D platformer. Like that, you know, yeah, these are all games you can now just get on your phone. Like, yeah, <laughs> on the App Store for. Free. <laughs> yeah, basically. Uh, it, it, play, it plays. No, but the you got you got Donkey Kong on the Stez, didn't you? Yeah, I love Donkey Kong. Oh, Donkey you, got Nick, you got Donkey Kong on, on the Switch now, you know. For fifty pounds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Are you have then? Yes, you have. What am I saying? Yeah, everything's fifty pounds on the Switch. Yeah, the, no, that's, that's... the thing that triggers me, right? Skyrim, something you can get. No, no, no. Payday Two, something you can get for literally free on Steam, fifty pounds, or like forty no, or whatever. No, no, so no. expensive. It is. No, yeah, no, it is. No, no. Free. Nintendo, Nintendo need money to make amiibos. <laughs> they need to make no. figures. These are important to me. These oh, are my yeah. life. The um, console's already three hundred. <laughs> Oh, yeah, unfortunately, yeah. boys, we're going to have to be the killjoy and bring it back. Um, right. It's <laughs> always oh, one. In, yeah, of topic. course, of course. I mean, in terms of talking about our childhoods, we've already spoken about a console, the game we game we played. But in terms of a game we all played, we all sat, we all played, we all loved. What was it that we all played <laughs> oh, and we all loved? I mean, I, no, I, I, think I would say Hit and Run, like you said earlier. Like Stan and Dreyas, I'm sure we all played Star Wars Battlefront 2. Like, if you didn't, then die. No, <laughs> I don't like Star Wars. I did. I, I played. Star I think Wars. what we all played, right, was right. This is a prize you here. Club Penguin. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, oh yeah. The... <laughs> come on. No, I don't even care. We all played Club Penguin. No doubt about it. But it was a fun game. I like this <laughs> Well, you had all the mini games, man. Yeah, that man, was I a think... game where you literally get ten games right there. You got like slide down the slopes, you go to minecarts, go to the dojo. I think the most depressing part was I flirted with a girl on that one. <laughs> yeah, I, I had a lot of girlfriends on that one right there. How did it? How did it go, Wes? Oh, it's amazing. We're married, ten children. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, <laughs> it was a man, and he was forty years old. <laughs> His name Actually, he's sixty now, James. Still <laughs> 60. done with it, lad. 
I think I could probably waste about an hour just going down the ski slopes on Club Penguin. Like, no word of a lie. It's good fun. Like, it's well, good fun. Until Trade I went... on my belt. I've got a belt. I've got to. I've got to another third highest. Not, it's gone now, isn't it? Yeah, Club no, Penguin. I mean, what? They yeah. brought out a new one, didn't they? They, they got rid of no, Club Penguin. No, they're fan servers, they are. Oh, yeah. They got fan servers, didn't they? Yeah. I mean, oh, I used... right. what, what other things were there back then? I mean, I... what else? I mean, I used to play Moshi Monsters for a little bit. Because I was Moshi yeah. Monsters was brilliant. I was a cool lad. Calf World then. on Facebook. Don't even at me. What's that? Was that? Brilliant. Calf World. Calf World. Facebook. Yes. All the Facebook games. I uh, consistent. Games. Consistent invites. A hundred a day. That seems I, to be I never heard of this. I know Farmville. Oh That's yeah. Yeah. They're so similar. Just just yeah. farming. Yeah. Just farming. Go, do my grapes. You know. Check out the land. Check out my neighbours. Buy some cattle. No. Strut around. Beg. Beg the parents for that fucking. Ten pound, ten pound package. <laughs> just, just like a speed on one of my crops. I need, the, I need the plot of land. All right, I need a tractor. There is no way I'm gonna harvest it before the winter time. All right, <laughs> Mama, I'm not eating until time. I get my tractor. <laughs> oh my god. I used to legit wake up at like five a.m. just because that time would run out. Like you'd have like nine hours to get the crop, and then like as soon as it reaches like nine, uh, like nine hours, right? It'd be like. 3 a.m. in the morning, so I'd set a timer on my phone to sneak oh, yeah, downstairs, grab, uh, turn on the, my Mac, and then, you know, when you open up the old Mac, so it used to go, yeah. <laughs> So what I used to do, right, I used to get loads of towels, and I used to cover my Mac with, <laughs> with towels. Oh, you genius. So what do you think so, of that? And then, and then I'd shut all the doors. I'd put a towel under my dad's, my, my parents' like uh, door, so just it was, like, properly padded out. <laughs> then I'd press the, then I'd press the on button. Just it was perfect. It was perfect. If any of you guys got this at home, worst like a dream. Parents will never know. Um, <laughs> if you want tips on how to get a good Farmville base, you're yeah. coming to the right place. Yeah, and tips on how to rebel that. against your parents. See, I used to yeah. do that. But Get the DS under the bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah DS under the bed. <laughs> Pretend to be asleep. <laughs> Classic. See, the only time I went sneaking around as a kid was when it was for World of Warcraft. Yeah, that was when oh, I snuck yeah. around because I never knew of the game. I never was. I was never much of a PC gamer until uh, you don't know addiction. Yeah, you don't know addiction until you play that game. Exactly, it is. I, I, oh, I know Wesley. I, never really and, played and it. Callum. I know you haven't. I know I, I haven't. I'm I know, not. I know I'm not it's say such a nerdy game. I know it's such a nerdy game, and I'm so ashamed to say I played this. But it is. Uh, an experience of a lifetime. <laughs> what is it? Oh Do you want to go for JRPGs? I mean, well, it's, it's, when it's when RPG experience with friends, you know. And you, as soon as you get good gear, you can show off to the boys. You can go to like the main city and just wait, uh, like show your helmet actually, off. Actually, no. Yeah. To be fair, though. <laughs> to be fair, though, I'll tell you what did actually quite interest me in um, World of Warcraft is that episode on South Park on World of Warcraft. That made me. Yeah. That yeah. made me. That made me notice. Oh, yeah, yeah, that one. That was the first time well, I noticed it as well. Can we, can we I've literally just... watched the episode more than 30 times. Yeah. I bought it on iTunes to watch it on my iPod class. Can, <laughs> can we all just appreciate that it came out in 2004 and is still being sorted now? Like, it's fair, still fair being it's, it's a great, to It's a great day. game, but they've added too much stuff. I feel like it's fresh because, it, because oh, I think God, they're spoon feeding like... so much stuff to you. Like, I think there's like 120 levels. There's now, so right? many expansion packs. It used I remember to be 60. Yeah, I remember when I was playing it. It used to be 60, but when I yeah. first started Jeff playing Kaplan it, Jeff Kaplan designed it. Her? Sorry, that? <laughs> well, I'm just looking it up. Jeff Kaplan designed it. He's the maker of Overwatch. Yeah, I love him. Back, we call uh, we call him the Jewish King. Yeah, Blizzard, every Blizzard game has been been a great. great yeah, game. I, I agree. The soundtrack, yeah. the soundtrack for one. I mean, the whole thing is like another. It's just different to all the other games, you know. Yeah. I think Blizzard just released good games like that. Oh, Blizzard are consistent. They're, yeah. they're just yeah. so consistent. They always have been, though, haven't they? Um, oh, okay, another game that we all must have played as kids. Hit and Run. I mean, this was a game. Simpsons Hit and Run. Probably the most talked about game from anyone's childhood, especially when gaming was getting big, because it was huge. I mean, the game was... The GTA for every well, age. Yeah. Was that, was, that was probably the moment where gaming sort of, like movies and TV yeah, shows, sort of woke up and sort of went, yeah. "Hey, we can make a video game." Yeah? The thing is, though, it was buggy as hell, but I think the bugginess made it even better. Yeah, it was I just so funny. Because I just remember just rinsing that game to to shreds. Yeah. My one question um, yeah. is, 
What was your favorite character on Hit Oh, Center? mine was Bart. Mine would always be Bart. No doubt about it. His rocket car was my favorite. I loved it. Oh, yeah. I have to agree, actually. I have to agree. I have to agree. That was brilliant. Oh, I... Are we all going for... Or are you three all going for Bart? Yeah, I've got to say Bart, mate. Bart okay. was pretty... I don't know. Homer was all right. I'm but... trying to think what I used oh. to play as. Cause what, I, Ho- play, Homer... I played a lot of a poo. A poo. Oh yeah, of course. Oh yeah, the poo mission. I, I don't. I don't want. I don't want to sit here and like. We, if we want to moan about modern Simpsons, you can give me all the time you want. But I, oh, I love the poo. I, I thought I always <laughs> loved him. The show. I thought he's hilarious. He did one of the best songs in the. Um, Who Thank needs the cookie bar? Again. Yeah, he it was good. I think. I think Bart was probably the one. Yeah. I think I played yeah, a few Bart. of the characters because they had like uh, certain costumes yeah. that I liked, but I can't recall what it was. Um, and then. Who the last the last character was Lisa, right? Yeah, no, yeah. Oh no, yeah, was it? Yeah, because you've done, no, done was Lisa. Lisa. Yeah, you've done Lisa. No, it was no, it's Homer. It was um, it's yeah. Homer, Bart, Lisa, Marge, Apu, Bart. Was it? Was it the whole lot? Yeah, it's only yeah, seven yeah. worlds or seven uh, yeah. chapters. I, I just remember that one. There was one mission with Lisa, and I, I spent so Lisa long. Lisa was the one down by the harbour side, wasn't it? Is it yeah. the fish one you're yeah, talking yeah, about? Yeah. Oh, that was a pain in the ass. With yeah. the hippie shot. Oh, yeah, I did like Lisa. Yeah. Hippie shot. I thought that was cool. <laughs> I was like, yeah, she's badass. <laughs> but that, that was probably the first game where there was like level progression because it just got really, really hard near the end. Oh, my it God. Did, yeah. mate, it took me so long to do the final cool. mission. It was the first time I think I proper got excited when I finished the video game. Shouting, Jane, come on. It was so rewarding. It was. It was. Wait, uh... how do you think you boys would do on it now, considering we're in our twenties now? Bear in mind, um, we were we were like little kids. I mean, I'm serious. We, we I played it about two time. years ago. I played it and about I still, two years ago. As I still well. struggled in the final world. I played really? it. Yeah, I, played I still it... I still failed the mission once at least. Yeah, I mean, I played it about two years ago as well on on the PS2. I was playing Crash Bandicoot originals as well. And nice. I was playing the hit, hit and run, and all I just kept getting distracted by was getting off and punching all the bees, or the wasps. Sorry, I was just too. <laughs> oh yeah. I thought it was just too fun running around and glitching myself around into the trees and stuff. Like. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if it'll be as fun as it used to be though, because like the reason why I think it's you have that whole world experience, and then you make your own stories up whilst in the game. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you would, you would like, you would think of a scenario where you would pretend to speak with someone in your head. <laughs> And you'll be like, you like make your emissions up, like, oh, you're gonna go to the well, to bring a fire in like 20, 20 seconds. You yeah. Make it right. yeah. <laughs> to, be fair, to be fair, boys, I watch a YouTube channel and there's something called the Donut Mods on PC. And oh, what, they still, it, it still, it still, still, still run. Yeah, it still does. It does um character skins. Ah, oh, cool. I'll send a link to you guys. That. Yeah. But check yeah, check, if anybody still loves Hit and Run, check out Donut Mods. Boys, I've just uh, googled since and sit and run, and I tell you what, when I've just ch- I've clicked on images, and it just made me realise that the Simpsons sit and run. Do you remember it, you could get it as like in a normal case, or you could get it in that silver platinum case. Yes. PS2. Yes, PS2, yeah. PS2 used to have yes, two different types of cases. Have, didn't yes, they? of course they did have the platinum cases. I remember those. Yeah. Cases Which cases did you have for Simpsons sit and run? I had the platinum. Look I at it. Normal. Look at it. It's made me remember. I, I had the normal. I but think then... I had a few because like I broke. <laughs> <laughs> I think games got abused a lot back then. Yeah, I think um, well, yeah, yeah, using them as like uh, uh, skis and stuff like that on your laminated floors. Um, yeah. Once again, no, once again, no one, kept, man, like... no one kept the right disc in the right case. Let's be honest. Oh, yeah. how, I mean... Wait, when when your disc failed, how did you boys try to fix it? Because I would, this is mate, I would I lick I would, it, I would wipe it, it. Yeah, lick it, breathe on it. <laughs> yeah. I never breathed it. I always licked it clean once. Oh, no. <laughs> Mate, I, I once put baby wipes on it. Yeah, I actually <laughs> one put baby, one put baby yeah, wipes I, on it. I won't lie. And then wiped it with a towel after. Yeah. You know, if you've like, brought it to a game or like uh, games, play, play, game, game Yeah, they station. can clean it for you. Yeah. Yeah, they'll clean it. And, what's it yeah. and you, can, you can buy it. You can buy it. Yeah, game station. Um, yeah, that's you, you, you used, yeah, yeah, stop <laughs> looking around. But I mean, you used to be able to buy like disc cleaners. Right, they would actually yeah, my dad bought one off of a um, big TV. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I mean, uh, uh, well, because back then we were probably—I mean, I was gaming on one of those fat TVs, you know, one of those classic yeah, TVs that have a bomb attached to the back of it, pretty much. Yeah, but, yeah. I had, uh, I, had yeah. Well, I used to have one in the living room, which was I think was a flat screen actually. It was really nice, and then eventually when I got my, uh, I got a PlayStation Two, like a, a slim one with. A ten inch, ten inch TV. Oh, I love that. But like, yeah. that was fun, man. That was fun. Yeah. Like, that was when you guess when you get it in your own. That's when 
play it. Yeah. Time. No, of course. That, yeah, that's the first one where you go, wow, this big is so cool. Because I remember yeah, playing, yeah. I remember playing all my childhood games on the PS2, and I got the Xbox One, uh, the Xbox Original, sorry, but the what Xbox Original cool. on my, it would have been about 10, 11 inch. I wouldn't even be surprised if it was like eight inch or something. This TV, but the first game I ended up playing on it was Counter Strike. Oh, oh yeah, Counter Strike I mean, on the original I mean, Xbox, yeah, and it was on actually the, quite the fun. Xbox. Yeah, on the original Xbox, Counter Strike was on that. it. Yeah, dude, it was actually quite a good game. Was so. it the orange box? Because that had TF2, Leopard Dead. I and did. Four. I do think that that was one of the best things that was ever released. The orange box, though. Yeah. Oh, I agree. I think it was. I agree that as well. Um, I mean, I'm just searching on Counter Strike now. Yeah, it came out on original Xbox a while back. Um, I mean, in terms of another game that we've all played. I know this one for sure is the the Need for Speed series, the Underground series. Yeah, for sure. Is that we yeah. either all played We'd at least Fast and yeah. Curious, Tokyo Drift, and then we <laughs> the hell yeah, on that. that was it. Or I haven't oh, played all of them. Neon Lights. Oh man, that that was a really good experience. Like, yeah, I don't, I don't know the disappointment. I mean, what, 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 what is it? What is it? Riders on the Storm. Need for Speed is like uh, the, the drifts you can do on that. It's just so unrealistic but who cares right <laughs> it's a video game it doesn't matter That's uh, it's such a good arcade experience yeah like, i love my racing games but something about that one's just it really hits home like yeah. I, I felt like i was um vin diesel you know <laughs> <laughs> but i mean oh, it man. was j- just like the burnout sort of Oh, the burnout, yeah. yeah. That, that, that was, that was a good if, yeah. if, I'm thinking Tokyo Drift. Yeah. <laughs> if, if no one, if anyone listening doesn't know what the, the, the Underground series then is. Then leave. Yeah, or the Burnout series is, definitely give them a check out. I mean, as a kid, Burnout used to be just, if I wanted, if I was angry or if I wanted to blow something up, Burnout is the way I'd go. Purely the fact that I've one got of, another game that I want to mention. One, here, one, one, yeah, sorry, two seconds. Yeah, but the problem is the only kids nowadays are mainly just in, interested in battle royale games. Yeah, I mean, they, they, if they saw PS2 graphics, mate, or anything like that, they would not, they would just be like, "What's this then?" Yeah, I, what agree. Is this? Was, I agree. Was this created on a potato? You can you can still you can play Minecraft and Terraria. People still enjoy it. I think a, a good game's a good game, no matter yeah. what. Uh, yeah, some, sometimes it's just about graphics, graphics and that's like a very kind of like heated topic, but. I just if the if the game's good, the game's good, man. You can play it no matter what. And yeah, that that yeah. game was good. Yeah. Um, but like glitchiness, and I think actually, uh, this is like something that I'm coming up with a lot with new games coming out is people's attention span is way. Lower. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The we don't times we look at our phone, right? People yeah, just true. need something. Mate, we didn't and have that like... back then. All we had on our phones back then was Snake. That was it. Yeah, well, it's, it's like people just always want something to do. They always want something to do, and like there's some things yeah. happening everywhere. And like the slow pace of games, oh, no, I yeah. quite enjoy because it kind of gives you that free. Simpsons at Run, don't it, for example, because yeah. like you have a whole world where you can kind of do whatever you want, and it's yeah, kind of like I agree. slow pace. It's not like GTA when you're getting called every five minutes for something yeah. to happen. Which is why I like, like the Red Dead uh, series, like, especially the yeah, new it's one. really slow. Yeah, it's really slow. Yeah, yeah Red Dead's really slow, which is amazing that's always my fifth modern game is yeah everything everything in the modern world has to be fast paced has to be let's do it now let's get yeah. this done let's move let's go and yeah sometimes it's just nice to sit there for half an hour to just take nothing. a break man you know yeah, let's, 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 let's play a game of texas hold'em you know let's just play yeah. some cards <laughs> let's see some betting you know yeah. um yeah i think that's that's there's a big difference in that and yeah I, I appreciate that uh because i'm a sucker for going on my phone and it's it's terrible. Yeah. It, yeah. It's, that's the modern really day, bad thing. Let's face it, who doesn't shove on a film on Netflix and spends the whole film on their phone? Yeah. Like, oh, man. It's everyone does it. No, I, <laughs> agree, just, I like, agree. Yeah. I, mean, I, I think yeah. that's like uh, that leads us up to near enough the end of this podcast. Yeah, um, unfortunately so. Of, of uh, our favourite games as childhoods. What's your favourite game in childhood? Let us know. Yeah, exactly. Let us know. Thanks. If you're seven years old, though, don't say you're. <laughs> and we're, 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 we're old men now we're ancient yeah any Fortnite comments will be removed I'm, I'm, only joking. I'm only joking if you do feel as if we missed a few games I didn't touch upon any of it please just shove it in the comments or whatnot. And uh, I've, got, I've got a PS2 list I can read through a couple 
if you want people to hate us. Yeah, I mean, I, I came up with 26 different games when I was thinking of my childhood games. Went to Evil 4, Shadow Colossus. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, but game, gaming was so enjoyable back then. Yeah, just... of course, I agree. I, I mean, mean, every game just seems unique. Scooby-Doo then. back then was also another one that was brilliant, and exactly the mm. same as State of Emergency, which very, very Sponge few people Bob. would know of. SpongeBob. SpongeBob. Well, that's what, that's what, what leads yeah. on to the point earlier, where... <laughs> that was fun. Everybody, <laughs> everybody woke up and sort of like... Shit, we can make video games. Yeah, no, exactly yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Exactly that. I think, I think like, what you what we experience there, Callum, is when you get older, things just become less and less enjoyable. You <laughs> yeah, get more sad. money. Watch SpongeBob. Watch, watch modern SpongeBob. <laughs> like, it's just sad. I'm, I'm, I'm so scared for when I'm 40. Like, imagine how shit everything's going to be. Yeah, <laughs> no, exactly that, man. It was better when you didn't have money and you had to, like, earn your game. When you finally got that game, it, was, it just felt brilliant. You enjoyed it, was, it so much. Yeah. No, it was it. I was, was sitting on the bus with... Yeah, I remember going, going, going to, like, game or something. They're sitting on the bus with your dad, looking at the back of the continent. Just staring at the pictures. Oh, yeah. Back, yeah. Really? It's like, whoa, what is this? Just, re- you, just read the game read manual. Manual. Yeah, I used to do that. I used to just look at... Oh, the my God, the left analogue stick moves. <laughs> you would even read the terms and conditions. Yeah. Yeah, exactly yeah, that. that. That's still exciting, Jim. <laughs> by, by, by going on this game, you have now signed your soul. To- <laughs> <laughs> how, how many of you guys have actually opened like a PS4 game manual like since you've had a PS4? Oh, I've channel? never ever opened I've one. Never like, one. I've, I think my no, game. I think I opened oh, one to look at a redeem code. <laughs> yeah. okay. You get free stuff, of course. Yeah. We're, 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 we're British. Digit code. Just a quick we're question, British. boys. Do you guys remember the PS2? Do you know with the analog sticks and stuff? But some games wouldn't yep. allow you to use the analog sticks. You had to click like yeah, analog and weird. stuff like that. You had to use the D-pad, and that was so annoying. Oh my god, the D-pad was absolutely horrible. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, were, they were a lot more stubborn then as well because you couldn't change the controls were set. Yeah, you couldn't go yeah. diagonally. You hold left and the top one to go diagonally to like let's say the top left sort of thing but it wouldn't it would go left up left up left up left up left up that, that was annoying and <laughs> you didn't have a choice that was you, so were, you were told to do something you did it yeah mate playing fifa back then like you know i'm a fifa gamer playing <laughs> fifa back then with the d-pads you know how hard yeah. that used to be. exactly that it's so hard all right boys i think we're gonna we're gonna say bye now uh call cool it there yeah you know, exactly that out. you know and, uh, 40 shack, minutes shack, 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 yeah. Off. yeah the one and only shackers exactly. the shackers are are ending the it. Yeah, I mean, that's it. The shackers are gone. Just want to say a massive thank you for listening to the first podcast and hope to uh, be speaking to you again next week. And uh, if we keep up to the same schedule that we haven't been keeping up to, then we should be <laughs> fine. But we've got this, boys, haven't we? We've got this. This is the start of something new. Uh, I said, yeah, what, uh, you're still going to discuss the second episode. Uh, yeah, so I mean, we'll any ideas? <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll mess it up, but we'll do it. Yeah, exactly yeah. that. Yeah, thanks for listening. to fail. Yeah, and this yeah, has been this much, has been the Tom. gaming shack. Thank you for listening in, and see you later. Thank Bye-bye. you. Persona.